Welcome to Sandwiches of History. We're going to be doing the top 10 sandwiches of 2021 from Sandwiches of History. These are the ones that stood out to me and I enjoyed. Um, are they all 10s? Maybe, maybe not, but they're the ones that were interesting and stood out to me. So let's get into it, shall we? All right, let's kick things off with the uh, barbecued beef sandwich uh, from 500 Tasty Sandwiches of 1941. It's weird. Uh, you didn't actually barbecue the beef. You put together a barbecue sauce and added the beef to it, but it was delicious. Ah, uh, yes, this is a sandwich from our history. This is a Trinidad cheese paste sandwich, and it is complex and delicious. I might make this again and make this into a grilled cheese, because I think that would be amazing. Parmesan sandwich. Doesn't look like a sandwich. Uh, it's basically ketchup, Parmesan cheese, uh, shredded, and salt and pepper, put in between crackers and heated. And it was delicious. Ah, the hula burger from uh, McDonald's. Now, this was a complete surprise to me because the idea of pineapple and American cheese seemed repulsive. Add mayo to that, forget it. But you griddled the pineapple, you added it to the sandwich with the mayo and the American cheese. It was actually pretty good. The Limburger sandwich. Uh, the cheese with all the stink lines coming off it in the comic strips when I was growing up. I was a little hesitant to try it just because of that, but it was a really tasty, tasty sandwich. The ham and tomato sandwich. It doesn't look like much, but that was quite tasty. In fact, I, I, when I was looking at the video, I didn't even bother to plus it up, it was that good. So, cheese and anchovy crostini. Now this was a, a Graham Kerr recipe that was sent in, and uh, I don't know, it is a sandwich technically, there's two pieces of bread, but it was delicious. The cream of mushroom soup sandwich. I, when I first heard about this from Megan Schultz of Montreal, I thought, wait a second, this can't be real. Uh, but it was, it was delicious. Condensed cream of mushroom soup, uh, griddled between two slices of bread. It was really, really good. Drew from Eat the Neighborhood recommended Hibarito sandwich that's uh, origins are in Chicago, but it was inspired by a place in Puerto Rico where you use fried plantains, basically tostones, as the bun for a uh, skirt steak sandwich. Delicious. I would definitely make that again. And last, but certainly not least, the Moist Maker sandwich from the show Friends, uh, Ross's favorite sandwich, Mashed potatoes, stuffing, cranberry, and just, it was such a delicious sandwich. I am so looking forward to making that one again. Well, that's a wrap for our top 10 sandwiches on Sandwiches of History for 2021. Uh, I just want to say a thank you, quick thank you to all of you for following along and leaving comments and suggesting sandwiches and pointing out my mistakes. And I'm looking forward to 2022. A lot more sandwiches to do from our history, a lot more sandwiches to do from the cookbooks, so... Uh, Strap in. I'll see you next year. Dance, monkey. <laughs>